Hello guys, Luna here. Welcome back to another Modern Warfare and Warzone update video. Today we have a new playlist update to go over, including a new mode, bare bones, shoot the ship 24-7, new bundles, and more. Not too much, but at the end I will go over today's Call of Duty 2020 teasers. First guys, if you hate 10 minute videos, then stick around for straight to the point Call of Duty news and updates. All I ask is you watch as much of the vid as possible to help me out. Let's jump into it then, starting with multiplayer changes, and I should point out guys, as you will ask, that the update is server side, so no download is required, just a restart, and it usually drops around 6pm UK time. We have bare bones, which strips away any of the add-ons and leaves you with signature Call of Duty combat in its purest form. No kill streaks, no field upgrades, and no perks. Just an operator and their weapon. Choose your armaments wisely in this game mode, mosh pit, and rely on strategy, tactics, and gunplay to best your opponent. To go with this, we have gunfight blueprints. Play 3v3 and test out the latest new blueprints, even if you don't own them, with the gunfight blueprint playlist. Finally, the 24-7 playlist this week is going to be Shoot the Ship, one of the most popular playlists, and one of my favourites as well along with Hardcore TDM and Kill Confirmed. And if you're playing the free maps this weekend because you don't own them, then the free map will change to Shoot the Ship as well on the 11th, so that is tomorrow. To Warzone, there is not a lot of difference this week. We stick with Mini Royale. Also, players can battle in BR Solo Stimulus, so you can all redeploy if you carry enough cash. And there will also be duos, trios, quads, and plunder quads. For this week's new bundles, get a fearsome gold look in the Executive Armorer bundle for Mace. Equip this suit of gold and jump into action with two legendary blueprints, Mother Load and Royal Coffer, with gold tracer fire. Also included in the bundle, the Golden Hue Melee Hatchet, Charm, Sticker and Voice Quip. Lastly, you can go wild with the Poison Dart Weapon Blueprint bundle featuring the Galapagos and the Anole. Both weapons focus on dart-like control and accuracy so you can hit the bullseye of your target. The bundle also includes a calling card and animated emblem. Okay guys, so that is everything that is coming for this week's playlist update. Not a lot to go over, but I wouldn't expect there to be too much after the Season 5 update. But there is other things to go over, which is the new teasers for Call of Duty 2020. Several people, Charlie Intel, Noah Jace, Equal Espresso, I think five altogether, received new teasers with crates and projectors with slides, and here are some of them and what they mean. So first is a letter that was in the crates that these guys received. The number at the top is how many players received a crate. The numbers and the letters underneath them corresponds to the slides, and the X's are what this specific player got in this crate. These are the slides here, and you can see the numbers and the letters on them. The letters don't tell you much, but it does point to the Euros, which is in Russia, and that corresponds to the teaser as well, which I will explain. These slides show areas around the world. One is in London, New York, Paris, and Russia, which is of course where the Euros are and the other locations probably correspond with other maps in Call of Duty 2020. Someone pointed out that the numbers resemble these found in the Summit map, which is of course in Russia, in Black Ops 3. And sure enough, one of the other slides shows part of the Summit map. Also, if you look in the Summit map, these clocks correspond with those numbers as well, along with the Tokyo one. A recent update to Black Ops 3 just three days ago updated the map to reveal this here, which is part of a slide as well, and overlaying the one that's in game, not the one that came in the slide, as shown by Noah J, gives you the word when. Finally, Treyarch updated their Twitter profile today to the picture of a summit and this image of part of the summit map again. So Summit will have something to do with the 2020 release and what any of this means in any of these teasers is unknown for now. I'm sure more info and it will make more sense as more things get teased from Treyarch. And there could still be more things to come as well. Guys, so that is it for this one. Everything coming this week and a quick look at some of the teasers for Call of Duty 2020. If you want to see more Call of Duty news and updates, then like, comment and subscribe and I will catch you guys next time.